I challenge my friends to the most realistic Minecraft build battle ever. But what they don't know is I'm secretly cheating with slash slash real, which will allow me to transform anything I build into hyper realistic versions of itself. For the first round, we'll each be building whatever Pokemon we want. We have 10 minutes. Make sure it looks super realistic. Go! No. Oh, okay, okay, let's okay. go! So for my first realistic cheat, I'm actually going to be whipping out this easel right here where I can draw whatever I want. So the cool thing about this is whatever I decide to draw will actually spawn in real life. So first, I'm going to be drawing the Pokemon Onyx. And the reason why is because he is a big rock creature and I'm not very good at drawing. All right, we're going to start off with his little rocky tail. Good at all. Okay, so right here, we're going to do his head. Perfect. Now, I know what you're thinking. This doesn't look that good. But the good news is it's about to look super realistic. Oh, what was... Oh! <laughs> And the coolest part is my stuff actually moves. But I'm pretty sure no one else in this video is gonna have moving items. But now it's actually time to paint what's going to win us this first round. I am going to draw the most epic and massive Charizard of all time. I want this thing to be huge. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with his face. It looks like he has a little bit of a yellow area on his stomach. All right, now he has these little dinosaur arms right here. And then it looks like he has some claws. So we're gonna draw some claws on his feet, maybe some on his hands here. Okay. He has some wings. I'm gonna give him a little smile because we want our Charizard to be nice. Perfect. And then hopefully our Charizard will spawn really massive and realistic behind us. Whoa, bro, that was so, he has wings? <laughs> This is sick. Okay, now it is a Charizard, which is really good because this is exactly what I painted here, but it's not very big. So what I'm gonna do is type in my next command that's gonna make this guy super huge and buff. Now all I have to do is type in this special command I coded called slash slash real e big <laughs> because it's a realistic video and we want it to be really big. It's time to make this Charizard massive. Oh! That was crazy, bro. This thing is so massive and now he's flying. <laughs> I'm starting to wonder if we made him too big. He's starting to glitch a little bit, but that's okay. Let's go see what my friends are actually up to right now. Let's go see what Noah's up to. Here we go. We're gonna go, oh, we only have two minutes left, but it's okay because I'm cheating and already have my Charizard. What is he building here? Oh, is this Squirtle? This just look weird like this with three feet. <laughs> three toes like that. Wait, there we go. That's a Squirtle foot. Noah is actually an incredible builder inside of Minecraft, and that's exactly why I'm cheating to ensure that I will win this video. He doesn't have a lot of time, though. There is less than two minutes. He needs to hurry up. Whoa, it looks like my sister's doing a pixel art. This is actually really impressive. Now she's adding a little sign. What does it say? Jigglypuff. Hey. All right, let's look at this from afar. See how I'm feeling. This actually looks amazing. Dang. Okay, so Action built a Pikachu and a Pokeball right here. This is actually super impressive, and this is exactly why I'm cheating because my friends are very good at building. I have officially made it back to my base and I was just thinking about something. How am I going to possibly explain being the only person inside of this video with a moving build? My build is so good and realistic that they're instantly gonna think I'm cheating. But if you guys think this is crazy, wait until you see what we have coming later in the video. You won't believe it. Ah, 10 seconds, okay. Oh, I'm starting to get nervous. Now that I'm looking at it more, I'm starting to get more nervous. No, oh, his head's not even around. This is so frustrating. Five. Four. Oh shoot, they counting down. This should be good. Oh, that's all I got on the Squirtle was that. He's laying on his back. One realistic second left. Hands off the keyboard. Hands off, hands off, hands off. I am honestly feeling super confident after round one. You guys are going down. I vote we go over to Noah's base first. I didn't get to finish my build. Okay, let's see what he made. Let's see what he made. I made Squirtle, it's missing one arm. <laughs> you have a three-legged Squirtle that's on his back right here. Where's his mouth at? I will say this actually looks super good, but remember the theme of this entire video is to be realistic, and I don't know how realistic it is for it to have a missing arm. I'm gonna kick things off. I'm gonna give this three diamonds because he didn't finish and it's not realistic. Oh my, God. how do you make a realistic Squirtle? I'll tell you what, all you had to do was finish it and that would've got the four, but I'm gonna have to give you three diamonds. I think, I think I'm gonna give you a four. Thank you, Cheyenne. Noah's three-armed Squirtle has 10 diamonds. Let's go see what Cheyenne made. Whoa, okay. At first, it looked like one of those Pac-Man ghosts, if I'm being honest. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I tried my hardest. What does the sign say? Jigglypuff. It's really good, but it's not super realistic since it's a pixel art, and that's the theme of this video. But it does look a lot like Jigglypuff. So I'm gonna kick things off and say three diamonds, the same as Noah, because at least you finished. Okay. Yeah, I'm feeling three diamonds. Okay, Noah, don't be rude. All right, I'll, 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 I'll be nice. I'll give you five. It's pretty cool pixel art. <laughs> Thank you. Wait till you see mine, Noah. I stuck with the realistic theme. But first, let's go check out Action's base. Let me show y'all something real. Let me see you guys guess my character real quick. Who do you think I made? Pikachu? 
See, everybody knows exactly. I will say this looks very good and the Pokeball looks very impressive, but unfortunately just like Cheyenne, it is a pixel art and it's supposed to be realistic and it's not 3D. But he did build two things, so I'm gonna give it four diamonds. Four diamonds for action. <laughs> Let's go. Again, it's not realistic, but action, I'm giving you five. It's pretty cool. Whoa, okay. Action has nine diamonds. How many are you gonna give him, Cheyenne? I'm gonna give him a four. Hey! Apparently, I was the only one that actually followed the realistic rules with this. Server, teleport us to my base. Okay. What the? Yeah, that's not realistic either. And it's moving. That's what makes it realistic, Noah. The fact that it moves. No, because if it was realistic, it'd be a lizard with its tail on fire. Oh my gosh. It's so realistic. It's actually moving. Literally, how is it moving? How did you do that? I'm just a pro builder. You're, you're for sure a cheater, bro. I just muted my mic. I got to figure out a way to lie to them and tell them how I made it move. So I installed this special mod where I can make like redstone and kind of, you know, I brought it to life. It's, it's with redstone and stuff like that. It's all vanilla functions. If you knew how to build, you could use those same functions. It just needs redstone, orange wool, a little bit of yellow wool, and some sand. Well, I'm gonna get it started. This is popping. This is five diamonds right here. What? <laughs> Let's go. Matt didn't even try. I'm giving him one diamond. This isn't a bill. I bet if I punch it, the whole thing would break. Oh my gosh. Punch it. See what happens. If you punch it and it doesn't break, will you give me a higher score? I'll give you one extra diamond. Let me find the sweet spot. Let me find the sweet spot. Oh, it's moving. <laughs> Now it's flying. Yeah, I'm giving you a five for this, Matthew. Let's go. I managed to make a moving Charizard in the game and lost the round. Action won the first round, which means I'm gonna have to step it up. All right, for the next round, we all have to build a giant hyper-realistic mansion. We have 15 minutes, go. My next hyper-realistic cheat for this round is going to help me build the most insane mansion of all time. All I have to do is type in slash slash real, boom. <laughs> This just opened up this entire menu full of builds. Look at all the different options I have. This is insane. So supposedly all I have to do is just click copy and it'll go instantly into my world. But we are trying to build a modern house, which is perfect because they have this modern section right here. I think I have my favorite, which is this futuristic house right here. This looks like something Iron Man would live in. So it's good enough for me. Now you're about to witness the most realistic house you have ever seen inside of Minecraft. Three, two, one. <gasps> Bro, this is actually perfect. I will say it's kind of a small, boring entrance for this grand of a house. So we're gonna go ahead and just open this up really quickly. This is actually the most realistic, amazing thing I have ever seen. But my friend Noah is being very hard on the voting today. So I need to add something even crazier to ensure I win this round. So we are about to add realistic vehicles to match this modern mansion. Now we're gonna go back to our little painting method right here. And I'm actually going to draw a vehicle inside of my Minecraft. I'm gonna try to draw like something really cool like a Ferrari or something. We got our little wheels right here <laughs> And then we'll add some gray for the window And then I want to draw some fire coming out the back because that's how fast this car is going to be boom Let's see if we can get it to spawn in. Oh <laughs> Bro, what? How is that? There's not even any squares on it. How is this in Minecraft? Is that carbon fiber? That is so sweet. I'm gonna add one more car over here. So I want this car. Wait, bro, there's only two minutes left. Okay, I gotta draw something very quickly. Bro, is that an Audi? <laughs> what? There is no way I am going to lose this build battle. Now I'm gonna start adding a bunch of carpet right here. I wanna add a massive, nice, bright red rug. Perfect. Okay, we only have 60 seconds left. I need to do this as fast as possible. 60 seconds, okay, okay, okay. Ah! Uh, what else can I add? Look at that. That's that's epic right there. I call this to put it together, man. Time's running out. Just hold the button down. Uh-oh. Yeah, anywhere, anywhere. Just connect it. Just connect it. Oh, 10 seconds left. I feel like in expensive houses like this, they always have trees or plants growing in their house. So I'm gonna plant a little tree right there. Okay. I am freaking out. We only have three seconds. Two, one. <laughs> Hands up. My hands are up. How are you guys feeling? Very confident. Very confident. You're feeling confident? No, let's go check out your base then. The goal of this round was to build a ultra super realistic mansion. Let's see what he did. Whoa. Oh, wow. All right, follow me to the front door right here, all right? Step down here to the path. Okay, this must be out in the forest or something. I like that. Did you put your face inside of your house? How big of an ego do you have, bro? P pretty big one. Well, I will say this is super impressive, but it's not very 
bake for being a mansion. What? Are you kidding me? I'm gonna kick things off. Noah has been a very harsh critic so far in this video, but hopefully if I give you a nice enough score, it'll make you a little nicer yourself. So I'm gonna give you four diamonds. Oh, thank you. Yeah, this is really good. I think I'm gonna give you a five, Noah. This is really, the outside of it is so impressive. Oh, thanks. I hate to be the one to break the bad news to you, but I think an apartment of one has more space on the inside, and it's supposed to be a mansion. Three diamonds, though. That's about it. Three? Come on, dude. I gave you five. Well, since Action is saying that this house is super small, let's go see how big his house is. Bring it in down here. You're looking at the first flipped upside down mansion. So this entire build has been flipped upside down, and it's the world's first upside down mansion. That's super creative. I'm going to give Action... I didn't say anything for suspense, but I held up the number five. Um, it's, miss it's, it's definitely missing some luxuries. Bed, bathroom. I'll give it a, a, a solid uh, four. Action currently has nine diamonds. How many are you going to give him, Cheyenne? Uh, I'm going to give him four. I think this is really cool, but I wish there was more decoration. Let's go. It's a whole lot of diamonds. Action currently has 13 diamonds. Let's go check out Cheyenne's base. Check this out. This is giving me like Powerpuff Girls house vibes. Okay, so we have the TV, we're hanging out, the couch. Hey, nice little couch, the sofa. I will say this has the most decorations of all the houses so far. And then come out here on my balcony. Oh, there's a balcony too? Five diamonds. Really? Yeah, I could actually see that it's a mansion. That's five. I was going to give you a four, but because the bed is very bouncy, I'll give it a five. No way. All of you gave me a five? Did Cheyenne just get a perfect score? That's the first time ever. Cheyenne has 15 diamonds. She's currently in the lead. Let's go check out my base. Oh, okay. Are we for real? You have a whole car? Oh my gosh. What do you guys think? This is my super realistic, futuristic house. Matt, this looks like the Avengers uh, headquarters. That was my goal when I was building it. Whoa, look upstairs. Dang. And a pool in the back? Who's kicking off the score first? Let me hear an amazing score. This is a crazy build. Like, if you look at it from this angle, it kind of looks like a fish. That's five diamonds from me. Thank you, Action. Someone here actually respects engineering. I can hear <laughs> Noah just giggling, and I can tell he's smiling right now. What are you thinking at those little axolotl eyes? The, the cars aren't drivable, so I'm going to have to give you a four, Matt. I'm still going to give you a five, because that this is insane. Okay, well... That means Cheyenne won round two. Action and Cheyenne are both tied with one point apiece. Yes! I've never won before. For this next round, we each have to build our very own Among Us crewmates, and they need to be extremely realistic. Go. Wait, what? I don't know what that is. What's an Among Us crewmate? Somehow, I'm the only person that's cheating in this video, and I don't have any points yet. But luckily, there's still plenty of time for me to win this entire video, but I need to win this round right here, which is perfect because my next cheat is super insane. I'm going to build the most realistic Among Us character of all time, and I'm even going to make it move. Now, in order for me to make this Among Us character realistic and have it move, first, I need to actually build it myself. So we're going to get to building really quickly. So I have all of these different color blues right here because I'm I'm going to be trying to build a blue Among Us character. So here is one of the feet. Now I'm gonna go over here and start doing the same thing. Now we're gonna start building that iconic body. Now I have my rough outline for my Among Us character. I'm gonna start stacking these up really quickly. Soon I'm gonna add his iconic glasses or shield or whatever you wanna call that. And then we're gonna add a backpack to the side over there. Perfect. This actually looks really good. Now all I have to do is actually turn this thing into a moving, breathing, realistic Among Us character. Now all I have to do is run this command slash slash real and this entire build will turn into a realistic Among Us character that actually moves. Boom. Oh! Whoa! What is going on? It looks exactly like my build, but actually a little bit better and maybe even taller. And it's actually moving. You like my house, bro? Well, it didn't get me the win. Hopefully you will. It's safe to say my Among Us character officially loves my modern house. I hate to break it to you, buddy, but I made you a little too big to actually fit inside. But that's why I have an idea right here. I'm going to start building some smaller characters that we're going to bring to life so they can actually go inside of my house. I'm going to start building a little orange guy. So we're going to do this. Now we just have to add a little backpack to the backside of this guy just like that and then we're going to add the iconic face mask going across now we have a miniature version of this among us character right here let's see if we can actually make him realistic slash slash real boom oh 
Oh, we officially have two different Among Us players now. There's only one minute left. I gotta be super quick. I'm gonna try to make a little red guy right here. All right, we're just gonna go like this. I wanna make this guy super small. All right, just like this. Okay, now I gotta do is type in slash slash real. Boom. Oh my <laughs> gosh. There we go. I think I got this one. This is pretty far. Ah, uh, four seconds left. Three, two, and one. Hands off. Hands off your keyboards. It's time for an emergency Among Us meeting. Matt's the imposter. Let's go see who built the best realistic Among Us creature. Let's go start off with action right here. I got a good feeling action killed it. Man, it's been a while, but I, I remember some things about Among Us. Oh, very sussy. Yeah, you see he's venting. This is sick, bro. I haven't seen anybody else's builds yet, but I'm super impressed with the theming on this one. I'm gonna give this four and a half diamonds. Let's go. I'm going to give him five diamonds. Action has nine and a half diamonds right now. I think I'm going to give him four diamonds. This is really cool. I like there's like a storyline. This is good. Let's go. Action has 13 and a half diamonds. Let's go check out Cheyenne's Among Us player. All right, Cheyenne. I like how this one has an outline. This is like a really cool artistic style on the Among Us player right here. Thank you. But it's missing a backpack. There's no backpack on the back of the Among Us character. Oh, oh, oh. There's backpacks on Among Us? When I Googled it, there wasn't a picture of the back. What do you mean you Googled it? You don't know what Among Us is? No. I like how Shyhan labels everything that she builds. I like the 3D uh, space outfit, yup. This actually looks really good. I'm gonna give Cheyenne three diamonds. Thank you. I like that there's two Among Us characters. I'm gonna say four diamonds. Thank you. All right, Noah. Oh, uh, the lack of the backpack is killing me. I'm gonna give this uh, three and a half diamonds. Okay, thank you. Let's go see what Noah built. This is my rainbow sussy Among Us guy. He's the imposter who eats the people. This actually looks incredible. It's opening its mouth, getting ready to eat somebody. This is really impressive. I'm gonna give Noah five diamonds. This is a real deal imposter right here. Like, like, bro, going crazy. So yeah, four and a half diamonds from me. That's really good. I'm gonna give you a five, Noah. Let's go. Noah is currently in the lead with 14.5 diamonds. Now it's time to check out my Among Us character. Whoa. Oh, uh, is it moving? I built three different sizes of realistic moving Among Us players. Oh, this one's my favorite. So I'm gonna go ahead and get it started and say five diamonds. This is moving Among Us crewmates. All right, Matt, I'm actually impressed. I'm gonna give you a 4.5. Let's go. That's the best rating Noah's given me this entire video. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna give you a five, Matthew. This is incredible. You made so many. Let's go. Me and Noah both tied with 14.5 diamonds, which means we both got a point for this round. Let's go. Everyone in this video currently is tied with one point apiece, which means whoever wins this next round wins the entire video. Oh, no way. Okay. Ooh, all or nothing. And the prize for this video is a very realistic $100 bill. Ooh, one of them blue things. And for this final round, we'll each have to build a giant Lego structure. We have 25 minutes. Your time starts now. Go. Okay. Let's do Lego, this. Lego, Lego, do it. All right, gamers. Since this is the final round and everybody is tied, this has actually never happened. So any four of us could actually win this thing. But it needs to be me because I'm the only one cheating and that would be very embarrassing. So we're about to do the craziest thing in this entire video. While everybody else is building with regular Minecraft vanilla mechanics, I'm about to transform my entire build area and all the blocks I have access to into actual Lego bricks. All I have to do is type in this next slash slash real lego command Boom. Oh. <laughs> everything in my entire area has turned to lego even the little villagers look like lego minifigures here's my strategy guys i'm going to be using this lego brick right here to build a massive lego brick editors play an epic montage of me placing as many lego bricks as fast as possible that actually looks just like a giant Lego brick right there. Everybody knows Legos are extremely dangerous to step on. I'm gonna make this a nightmare for anybody that's not wearing shoes. I'm gonna spam a bunch of giant Lego bricks around here and I'm even gonna build a giant foot getting ready to step on them. So this is just gonna be a little tiny one. This is so sick. I have access to pretty much every style Lego brick you could imagine right here. Even the plants look like realistic Lego right here. This is looking amazing. This is honestly the last thing that I would ever wanna step on my entire life. So now we 
we are going to be building a massive barefoot that's getting ready to step on all of these gigantic, dangerous Legos right here. We're going to be using these blocks right here. Since the theme of this video is realistic, I'm trying to make this the most realistic foot ever, but right now it's looking very strange, but I promise I have a good vision for this. So now I'm going to start actually building the toes right here. All right. This looks kind of weird, but I think that the idea is really fun and creative. So let's see what happens. We only have 30 seconds left. I need to be very quick. Considering the fact I'm the only one with actual Lego bricks. I mean, look at this. This is so ridiculous and realistic. Everybody else is super lame and boring. So I'm just going to sit back and chill for the rest of the time. Okay, hands off. I didn't get to finish that one. All right. Is everybody ready to start judging and see who wins the most competitive build battle of all time? Yes, sir. Yes. I say to kick things off, we go to action space. Oh, yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. Now, this is some you could put it in a museum. It's a work of art. Matter of fact, I even let you know what year it was made. Scattered Legos 2024. This is like Stone Age. All right. Okay. That's the backside of a Lego. That's actually really good detail right there. So I'm going to kick things off with three diamonds. I think you could add it a few more. Ooh, yeah. Good call. Good call. I'll take it. That's that's true. Uh, I think I'm going to give you a four. I think those look really good. This reminds me of Stonehenge, so I do like it. Um, I'm going to give it a four. <laughs> Let's go. Action has 11 points. Let's go see what my sister built with Lego. Whoa. I like what you were able to do here, Cheyenne. It's super creative, but what's up with this purple one right here? <laughs> I didn't finish that one, but the other ones are all finished. It is very colorful and it really does pop. I like this a lot. I'm going to go ahead and say three diamonds as well. Okay. I'm going to have to give you four diamonds and here's why. You can actually stack all of these on top of each other and it makes sense if you don't look at this purple one. Yep. <laughs> Oh, man. I'm going to have to give this a, uh, uh, a two. A two? Look, these are supposed to be the same Lego bricks, and they're not even the same size. Whatever, Noah. You're a hater. It's fine. Whatever. Cheyenne has eight diamonds. Let's go see how many Noah's going to get. Yeah, he's not getting anything from me. Oh, ho, ho. Oh, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> whoa. Noah made a Lego minifigure of Darth Maul from Star Wars. Yo, nostalgic just hit with Lego Star Wars, man. What? I'm going to have to give this thing. Wait, actually, now that I think about it, isn't Darth Maul's face mainly red? It was really hard with the Minecraft blocks, okay? I was about to give you five diamonds, but I just remember this is supposed to be Darth Maul and there's barely any red. I'm going to give that three diamonds, honestly. Yeah, see, I think this is a really good build, but if we're using the same logic that you were just using on mine and it wasn't perfect, I would agree that the red needs to be way more. So I'm going to give this to three. That's crazy. Guys, this was really hard to make. I really like this one. I really like this one because it really does give off Lego. I'm going to say four diamonds. Yep. Thank you, Action. At least this guy knows what art is. All right, gamers. Now it is time to see the most amazing thing you've ever seen, Noah. Server teleport us to my Lego base. What? Is that a foot stepping on a Lego? Oh, what? Whoa. Why do his blocks look like this? How are they real Lego blocks? You have the Lego flowers? That's a foot stepping on a Lego. I know that hurt. I need to mute my mic right now and come up with the perfect reason to explain how my entire base is Lego without cheating. I was able to build out my entire base and make it all look like realistic Lego. Even a realistic Lego foot with a toenail. And for my build right here, I wanted to do everybody's worst fear, which is stepping on Lego bricks barefoot. Wow, this looks incredible. I wish I could give you a 10 out of 10. This is a this is amazing. Okay, I'll give you five. This is this is incredible. Let's go. I, I don't know how you got these realistic blocks. It really doesn't make sense to me, but I, I think it's pretty cool. I'm going to give this a five. Oh, I have 10 diamonds. Action. How many diamonds are you going to give this Lego foot right here? N not even just the Lego foot, the whole plot. All of this is crazy. I'm going to have to give you four diamonds. Let's go. I got 14 diamonds. I won the build battle, Noah. Oh, congratulations, Matt. Now would be a good time to tell you that I was cheating the entire time using the command slash slash real. What the heck? Yep, I knew it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe and click these videos right here. I'll see you next time. Bye!